All right, so welcome to the Mindsaw SEO Show. Today, I have Matt Bartoletta from GMV Crush. Nice right. to meet you, and thank yeah. you for inviting. Oh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure having you. You know, I ran into your program uh, just looking in the Chrome extension store, and I think it is fabulous. So when you reached out to me, I was like, yeah, I have to have you on the show. I have to know more about this. I know I just skimmed the surface in regards to um, – how to use the how to use the uh, Chrome extension GMB Crush for ranking in the Google Three Pack. So right. why why don't we talk about that? What, uh, let's talk about what, what's the, what's the kick ass feature? What's your kick ass feature, Matt? Why why do I why should I download GMB Crush other than uh, Plepper or another type of uh, uh, a Chrome extension? Well, actually, uh, GMB Crush is the is the only free Chrome extension that allows you to reverse engineering the amount of um, Post that your um, that your competitors are being published along the way, so we can uh, reverse engineer the total post count of the your competitors uh, GMB posting, and we can also define how often they are posting. So it's also important to understand for certain, especially for certain competitive niches, how often the competitors are posting, and what's the total post count. I love that. So if I am doing a lawyer website and they're posting, you know, 30 times a month, which is once a day, I know that I should probably do, you know, 30, 35, somewhere around there at least, you know? Right. And I wouldn't know how many times they were posting if I didn't have that tool. Yeah, exactly. So that's, yeah. the, that's the goal. We used to do everything uh, manually. So we used to audit all the listings manually. Right. And th that's why we came out with this idea of making this tool out. So my next question to you, Matt, is uh, if it's a free tool, how do we make money? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this is just a free giveaway. And right. uh, the official web app is coming up, uh, is coming out very soon. We are working in a technology partnership with uh, Data for SEO. Right. And we have been working on this tool since the 2019, August 2019. So it's almost two years that we are working on it. Wow. It was very difficult to find um, developers with uh, enough skills to taking care of the Google My Business API and also developing our own custom algorithm. Right, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, I don't know if you've used this program before, this live program that we're on StreamYard. Right. But, um, do you know how to share your – you see on the bottom where it says share screens? Yes. Yeah. the invite. So why don't you share your screen and let's do a Google 3-pack and let's see how, how would a user use GMB Crush? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Once again, guys, we have Matt from GMB Crush on the show here and um, – GMB Crush is a free Chrome extension, and it's super easy to use. All you do is go to your tools, extensions, and just uh, download the, uh, the GMB Crush. Or you could go to gmbcrush.com and, and, and download it from there, correct? Yeah, correct. Also, you, you can also search directly here in the Chrome store for, for GMB Crush. There we go. And you can just get it. We, we have... Over 2,000 users at the moment, and we made the release in the end of January. So we are very happy about the results so far. So back to the tool. Um, once you have been installing and pin uh, the tool uh, on the Chrome extension bar, you can just scroll down. This is the landing page, the intro page, and then you can just click to open Google Map Search. Okay. So... For instance, if you are auditing, uh, for example, like Pass Control New York, we're talking right. about uh, some of the most uh, competitive niches. And then you click, for, for example, on the listing that ranks number one. Right. You will basically have two options. So you can view the, the additional categories of these listings, or you can simply click to search now. And without touching anything else, you can uh, just let the, the Chrome extension running. And at this stage, you can... Uh, Wait just a little bit, and you can see that for this listing, there are no additional categories. But this listing is um, really active uh, on post. So okay. once the Chrome extension moves to the, the Google search page, right. you have just to wait a little bit, and it will start to 
fetching and collecting data about the, the GMB post. Right. Um, so as I say before, this is was the, 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 the process that we used to do all by hand. Right, just count them up one at a time. Exactly. That yeah, exactly. could take a lot of time. Mm, yeah. So it takes a lot of time and sometimes you are just skipping pause because maybe you forgot the count, you got some call and you, you know, sometimes it's, it, it, right. it's easy. It's easy to lost the count. So we really feel that th this is the most important feature for, uh, for GMB crash. Um, it's very important to understand how, m how many posts in total each right. listing has and how often they, they have been posting. Right. And um, it's also important to understand what they are posting about right. and how they are structuring the post. Right. So, okay, we just released a new update and um, the new update, it's all about the review attributes. We want to understand how Google is pulling out review attributes. And we also want to catch like content ideas, um, not only for the GMB post, but also for new blog posts, for, for example. So this listing has a total post count of 99. And in the last uh, 90 days, they have been posting 41 uh, times okay ah. so what you can do yeah you can also copy right um if you if you want to do a quick check by yourself to the dates so that you can get a clear idea ah. on yeah so you can get a clear idea on when they have been posting or if you want to launch a new search what you can do you can just simply click to the download csv CSV. file button yeah and mm -hmm. you can just get it you know so okay. what you can do you can just repeat the this exercise for multiple keywords um right. and you you can keep storing data about the, the competitors and right. once you repeat the exercise for three four five six times you, you will get a better understanding of what's going on on your niche correct you'll see a pattern very interesting very interesting uh, in regards to posting um matt do you think you could post too much there was a time where i was posting maybe uh i don't know eight nine times a week for each client like i was doubling up on the post thinking that i right. would most i i personally didn't see the needle move that much uh what, what, what do you think about that we we just want to be sure that we are um, we are posting enough and uh, we just want to be sure that uh, to follow what Google is rewarding at the moment so we all we are always auditing as we do for the website for any sites that we want to compete with we we apply the same rules to to GMB we just want to simply see what's happened for the for the, for the top three spots and we want to get a better idea on what's working for them and I'm pretty sure if they are posting like two, three or three times per day, you should do the same or even more. Right, right, right. I guess it depends on the category as well. I, exactly. I, I'm noticing exactly. this. Yeah, sometimes some categories you don't have to go crazy, but others, you know, I guess more competitive or population where there's, you know, there's more people, it's a denser area. You need to, you need to, you need to post more. Exactly. Absolutely. It, it, it really yeah. depends niche by niche for, a, for yeah. example, for attorney, lawyers, you know, all the high competitive niches. What I noticed that most of those listings are posting almost every day, if not few times per day, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, once again, guys, for anybody watching this, um, just go to gmbcrush.com and you could just download the Chrome extension. And this way you could have this Chrome extension in your, um, you know, uh, on your toolbar up on top, and it will help you when you're searching on the, uh, for the Google three pack. So for example, you don't have to do anything special, right, Matt? So if you type in lawyers or you type in pest control, it, it will just show up on your Google three pack. There's no buttons you need to click or anything. Once it's ex installed, it does, it does its job, right? Yeah, exactly. So you just click to the search now buttons once you you have identified to which listing you want to run the audit for, and then you you can just let the uh, the app running. Let's do that one more time. So let's type in. Yeah, for uh, sure. You, yeah, just just you know this this is easy for you and I, but sometimes you know. So if you type in DUI lawyer, right? DUI lawyer. 
New York. Let's say DUI lawyer in New York. New York. Okay. And that's basically right. all you have to do. Now, you don't have to go to your website to search in maps. You could just go to Google. Right. And you could do the search as well. Right. And then you click the person that so you want to. The first two results are paid ads. Right. So that's another story that we can also get the full uh, 20, uh, 20 organic results plus the two paid results by clicking to the get results button. And those are the three spots. Yeah. One, two, and three. So let's click on the number one. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, view categories. If you just want to audit which additional categories the listing is using, you can just click to view categories. Right. Okay. Now, Matt, so those I'll tell you are why. The additional. And I'll tell you why I love that. I love this feature is years, not years yeah. ago, months ago. I had to right click. I had to go through the code, press control F and type in like, you know, and look through the code to see what categories my competitors were. Now it's right here, right in front of you. So for no other reason, this is a great, because you can't build out a campaign without knowing what GMB categories to, to, to add in your GMB. And then remember, you need to create pages for each category. So every time you pick a category, you need to create a page on your website for that. This is why I love this tool. I'm using it all the time now, Matt. I'm using Thank you, you so start much, charging Brad. Me. That's the truth. If, <laughs> it, listen, I really if appreciate it, it. And Matt, I'm the type of guy, if it sucked, if you sent me an email, say, hey, let's do something, I'd be like, that. Ah, tool sucks. This is great. This is great. Once again, <laughs> I don't get a commission from this. I don't do affiliates or anything like that. I'm, I'm bringing you on the show because I love your product. I love your product. Thank you, Brad. I think it's really appreciate great. it. Yeah, it's the truth. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, um, <laughs> so, so guys, if you're watching this, uh, you need this tool. If you want to rank in the Google 3-pack, download GMB Crush. You'll be able to view your competitors' categories and how many times they're posting. That's really valuable. That's very, very valuable. Do you plan on doing any uh, any update? Meaning that, like, um, I noticed that on, on some other extensions, uh, it'll give you the SID or the place ID and stuff like that. Do you plan on adding any of that in? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we, we don't like to emulate or copy what the other tools are doing. So right. we, we are planning to launch new features, which are also including um, kind of a free um, ranking tracker that uh, will be associated and attached to the Chrome extension as it is now. So basically, every time you will run a search through the Google Maps, you will be able to store those data inside the Chrome extension. And you will also able to see time by time how the ranking position are swifting for uh, for your chosen keywords. You will be able also to filter by some drop down menu, um, the list of keywords that you want to recheck um, for which uh, specific uh, area those uh, keywords are um, are improving right. or are decreasing in terms of ranking and so on. We will also include more um, like more items that we want to grab, such as like site links, online appointments, number of oh. FAQ, number number of FAQ published uh, services attached to the listing, and so on. Um, so, for example, in this case, uh, this listing has been posting few times in the last ninety days, so it's not really active, right. and the total post count is forty eight. Um, it's also important for us to check the description. So we also want to understand how the description is made, is, is, is pushing some specific combination of keywords if there is any strong call to action on the, the description because, you know, even the, the, the click-through rate, it's, uh, it's very important. It's a behavior signals That's and right. it will define how you rank. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. That, that, that's excellent. If I could give one suggestion. So the first time yes. I downloaded this, I, I, I didn't know with PC and, and I think that says PC go. It's so the, they should, <laughs> everybody, yeah. are, everybody ask about it. It's the, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you should have a little question mark next to it so I can mouse over and see what that means. Yep. Right. Yeah. Like so PC stand for post count, right? Total post count PC90, 
it's a post count uh, over the last 90 days right and pd it's post dates right right okay well, i'm gonna forget that in 15 minutes but <laughs> <laughs> yeah you should put like a little question mark there so i could uh when i when i do it i remember but that's great that's great to know so in the past 90 days they've only posted two times and they're in first place so if i was in fourth fifth you know if i'm just right outside there i'll start bringing up my posts for sure yeah so this is one of uh, this is the main feature of uh, GMB Crush. So right. if you clear clean your data and you want to also run a very quick audit over the last uh, twenty organic results, right. um, we can do like again. And if you want to get the quick insights about what's going on on the on the Google Map page one, you just click to get results. And boom love it love it it's done so love it. What, we, what we do by these features we are leveraging these features to find new clients so and we also want to understand which listings are paid for us which are also eligible potential clients for us so number one listing has an average um, reviews 19 reviews the second spot has 151 reviews the third spot has 99 reviews Right. So if we scroll down and we notice that, for, for example, this listing has a lot of reviews and IE uh, rating, right. it can be a potential client for us. Ah, ah, ah. I see. Yes, yes. We are, we, go, go you ahead. see, for example, even this one, uh, it's potentially using the wrong uh, main category. So we can reach out to right. the client and say, hey, you have a lot of reviews, your rating is pretty high. You are not using the, the right main category and your website is missing those service pages, this and that. Right. So we can offer this kind of services for this X amount and we we can we can potentially bring you to the to the three pack on oh. top of it. So I'm going to ask you two questions. I have a question from a viewer, Jack Matt, who asks, uh, how much content is required for a Google post? What's your opinion on that? Mm, at least one post per day. No, how much content? How many? I, I think he's asking what, what you know, how many okay. words? Yeah, for sure. So in terms of words, I will go for 100 to, to 150 to 200 words. And right. you should uh, structure in the content like a, a standard blog post. So what right. I mean by that, you can select the H1 of your GMB post. Then you can uh, also add as a, in the second line as H2, you can add the geo modifier plus uh, service. And then right. you can write your post. And then along right. with the post, what we usually do, we are also including links to other uh, Google properties or to the business site or to, to the other post. And instead of uh, just having one link um, from the, the CTR, from the, the CTR button, uh, we are also including extra links along with the post. So we are also interlinking to other posts. We are also interlinking to product and services using the QR code uh, link and stuff like that. So the main goal is to use and leverage your GMB post to interlink the GMB post itself to your um, other category, to your other properties. Sorry, that's yeah, very okay. important, actually. Uh, one of the other things that I think is super important is to uh, add your logo, your keyword, and your name, address, and phone number to the actual picture. So a lot of the pictures that you saw that we just looked on the GMB post were just pictures. They weren't branded. Yeah, for sure. So what we usually do, we modify the, 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 the file, the property of the file. Right. We, we are always including um, the, the main title. We are also including description and tags into the file itself before to use it for any GMB post. Right. So that's also very important. And by these features, what I want to also, and what we want to understand, what you can also understand, if if you are hiding your address, it's causing um, you to be on the top three or not. So we also want to understand if Google is ranking listings with uh, hidden address. Right. So that's also the case. Hmm. Number one and number two, they have no visible address. Uh, 
Right. And in some other case, we, we want to understand how Google is clustering the um, certain results along to certain zip codes. So we also want to understand if the results are uh, localized in a central uh, specific uh, spot of the city. Right. So sometimes we are also suggesting the clients who are opening an additional spot if that's the case in that specific location. In regards to calling clients and saying, hey, you're in the wrong category for your GMB and we could get you ranked in the Google 3 pack if we make some adjustments. Do you have any luck with that? Do clients even know what you're talking about? Well, actually, you know, most of the clients are just concerned of not getting enough leads and they are always concerned and they, they, always, they always came to us asking why that specific competitor is ranking there and they are not. Well, so that, right. that's, that's usually the main point. So we are always leveraging uh, the competitor's name to point what they are doing and what the client or the potential client is not doing. Right. So that's the main point of the discussion, actually. You know? Right, right, right. I just always found it hard. I don't do it anymore is, is to reach out to clients who have no idea that I'm <laughs> calling or my staff is calling and talk about the Google 3 pack. They don't know. I, it's been my experience. They don't know what it is. You know, so, uh, you know, sometimes it, it also happens if you are running an agency that you are in the position of upselling clients. So yes. they, may, they might just came to you. Hey, Brad, can you can you offer us like web design services? Yes, we can. You know, guys, we have been checking how well you are doing on, on the local three pack. How what's your presence locally? And we noticed this, this and that. So we might be able to help you out. Uh, we can do this and this and that for you and it will cost X, you know? Right, right. So we have a, a question by, I uh, hope I'm saying it right, Yasin Jabbar, who asks, why in the profile ranking Google 3 pack, uh, the, they don't have a good title, no description, no image, nothing, but they're still ranking. I want people to know that, you know, Google posts are just one slice of the pizza pie. It's not you know, it's not the whole thing. You could have perfect Google posts and not rank. If your website's messed up, you don't have citations, you don't have right. proper backlinks, you don't have reviews. You know, there is a lot that goes into the uh, the stew or the soup to make it to make it work. So this is just one um, this is just one feature. Uh, but you want to make sure you get Google posts right, and GMB Crush is a great tool for that. What's up, Holly? <laughs> you know how he stalks, uh, Matt? No, I can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, Holly Stalks. She's fabulous. You, you guys should hook up, man. She's a fabulous uh, 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 SEO. Fabulous. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, you guys should definitely. <laughs> Thank you so out. much. Yeah, yeah. All right. So Cito Castro says, uh, this is my new magnifying glass. And that's what it is. That can, <laughs> you, know what? you can't say that any better, right? A magnifying glass where you could really just fine tune in and see what's going on. I love your tool, Matt. I Thank you so that, much, I think that you have. I think that you, you have a fabulous idea. I love everything that you brought to the table. And uh, maybe when you when you add some more features, we could have you back on. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Yeah. So you can also download the CSV file, eh, guys. You can raise and repeat the same exercise, and you can just store data in any Excel file. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Matt, I just want to thank you very much for coming on today. I want to thank the people thank you who so came much. in and asked some, asked some questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you have the new features, let's let's make this, you know, a monthly thing where you come in and you say, hey, I got these new features so people could keep up on it. You know, Absolutely. I, lo I love I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate right. it. <laughs> My pleasure. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good day.